Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video, sponsored by, Skillshare.com. Skillshare is an online learning community, with more than 20,000 classes in design, video editing, motion graphics, and more. Premium membership, is less than $10 a month. And it gives you unlimited access, so you can join any class, and take them anywhere, anytime. Skillshare cover almost every topic you need. You can check out the animation for graphic designers class, for learning a custom animation for your logo. Learn, collaborate, or even teach a class by your own. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the best option for you. Visit the link from the description below, and get two months of premium for free. In case, you don't want to follow this tutorial, you can download this free template, from the link in the description. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it, YouTube Opener. As always, I am using the 1920, by 1080 resolution, with a frame rate of 60, to make the animation smoother. The first step is to create a new shape layer. So go to the tools, and select the ellipse tool. Please note, my fill is set to a solid color. And I am using this red color for it. Of course, you should use your own color. Also, my stroke is set to none. Now click anywhere on the screen, and start creating an ellipse. Press and hold the shift key on your keyboard, to make a perfect circle. Let's keep this size for now. Select the shape layer and rename it as circle 01. Align it to the center. And now we need to place this anchor point into the center. So go to the tools, and select the pan behind, or anchor point tool. Grab this anchor point. And then press and hold the control key, it will snap with the center of the circle. Cool. Let's add some animation to it. Make sure you are in the first frame, and then open scale, and add a keyframe on it. Change the scale value to 0%. Now go to around 1 second forward, and change the scale value to 1800%. It will cover up the entire screen. Here we have this pretty simple animation. Now select both keyframes, right click on it and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and in case your graph does not look like this, then right click here, and choose edit speed graph. Now select the keyframes, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the main timeline. Select the circle layer, and make two more duplicates of it. Let's zoom into your timeline, until you see the 10 frames distance in the time ruler. Now we are going to place this top layer on 40 frames, and second layer will be placed on 20 frames position. If you check the animation, you won't find any difference here, because they all are in the same color. So select this circle too, and change its fill color to the white. Check the animation, and it should look like this. Cool. Let's add the profile picture now. Import your files into your project. By the way, 
you can download them from the link in the description. Select the blank DP layer, and place it on the timeline. Now right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it DP. Click on move all attributes into the new composition, and then hit OK. Open this composition, and pre-compose this DP layer once again. Now we are going to make it circular in shape. So make sure to unselect any selected layer. Then go to the tools, and select the ellipse tool. Now create a circle, and press the shift key on your keyboard, to make it round. Then align it to the center. Now we are going to use the track mat, to make the profile picture circular. So make sure the shape layer is on top. Now if your track mat tab is not available here, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key, is watching the repeat telecast of the Apple event. Then right click here, go to the columns, and choose modes, as well as the switches. Now change the track mat to the alpha mat, and this is how it looks now. The benefit of using the track mat is that, you can scale down the value of the image layer, to fit the right amount inside this circle. Let's make a stroke around this picture. Select the shape layer, and make a duplicate of it. Place it right below the DP layer, and turn on the visibility of it. Now go to the top, and let's change the stroke type to fill. I am using a white color for the fill. Also, change the stroke value to 20 pixels. Now switch back to the main timeline, and this is how it going to look now. Let's add some animation to this profile picture as well. So go to around 1 second, and 20 frames position, and then open scale. Here add a keyframe on it. I am going to change the scale value to 0%. Now go to the 3 second position, and change the scale value to 75%. This is going to be the animation. Carefully adjust the keyframe timing, so that it appears right after the shape animation. Now right click on keyframes, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the main timeline, and this is how it looks now. Not bad actually. Let's move to the next step. Go to around 20 frames forward, and change the scale value to 70%. It will create this nice bounce effect. Let's zoom out into the timeline, and now I am going to add the position animation on it. Select the DP layer, and open position. Here add a keyframe on it. Go to around 30 frames forward, and change the position value to 460 pixels. Now go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen and start typing your text. I am going to select the first word, and making it light. You can download this font from the link in the description. Make sure to align it to the center horizontally. And then it's time to add the animation on it. So go to the two and half second position, and then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the large scale. Apply it onto the layer, and this is the animation. As you can see, it is too slow. So press U, to open keyframes. Grab the end keyframe, and place it on 3 second position. Now select all keyframes, and easy ease them as well. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the main timeline, and this is how it going to look now. Cool. You can always adjust the timing of the animation, by dragging the keyframes. Let's move to the next step. Unselect any selected layer, then go to the tools, and select the text tool. Make sure the line spacing is set to auto. Now click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. I am using one line space for adding the text. We will use this technique to make the animation. Align this text to the center. Also, I am changing the font weight to the bold. 
Now right click on the text layer, and pre-compose it. I am calling it connect, and then hit OK. Open composition, and make sure to unselect any selected layer, then go to the tools, and select the rectangle tool. We don't need the stroke, so I am turning it off. Also, the fill is set to a solid color. Now create a rectangle, so that it can cover up the one word. We will use the track mat, to show one word at a time. So change the track mat to the alpha mat. And now your text will appear, right in between the rectangle, we have just created. Let's add some animation to it. But first, I am going to add the ruler, by pressing Ctrl plus R. So that I will know where to place my text. Place two ruler from the top, and place it right here. Now select the text layer, and open its position. Here add a keyframe on it. Now zoom into your timeline, so that you can see 10 frames distance. Now go to the 20 frames forward, and change the Y position value, so that the first text should appear. Make sure the text is aligned between these ruler lines. You can always change the ruler line spacing, by selecting the move tool. Now go to 30 frames forward, and click here to add a keyframe on it. This keyframe, will hold the previous keyframe value, and it will create a hold between the animation. Again go to 20 frames forward, and change the Y position, so that the next word appears right here. Again go to 30 frames forward, and add a keyframe. Repeat these steps, until you complete all the words. Cool. I am just going to finish it. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, select all keyframes, and change the curve to something like this. Ram preview this, and your text should look like this. Now switch back to the main timeline, and this is how it going to look now. We just need to arrange the position of this connect. Use the shift plus down arrow key, to place it right here. Also, change the starting position from 3 and half second position. Cool. Now we are going to add a background behind this text. So make sure to unselect any selected layer. Then go to the tools, and select a rectangle tool. Click and drag a rectangle around this subscribe text. Make sure to align it to the center. And place it right below the connect layer. Let's call it button. Now select the connect layer, and then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the fill effect. Apply it onto the layer and change the fill color to the same color, as we are using for the background. And this is how it going to look now. But the button is showing from the beginning. So let's add a quick animation to it. Go to around 3 and half second position, and then select the button layer. Here press Y, to grab the anchor tool. Align this anchor point to the bottom edge. Now open scale, and add a keyframe on it. Click on this link icon, and now you can change the scale value individually. Let's keep the Y scale value to 0%. Go to around 20 frames forward, and change the Y scale value to 100%. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them as well. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the main timeline, and this is how it going to look now. Not bad. Let's move to the next step. Go to the project window. Grab this hand image, and place it onto timeline. Make sure to place it on top of all layers. Now, this layer is so huge, so let's change the scale value to 5%. As you can see, I am not able to see the hand here, because of these layer controls. So press Ctrl Shift H, to hide it. 
Now grab this hand image, and place it onto the subscribe button. Choose a position, where you want to add the animation on it. I think it will look good right here. So open position, and add a keyframe on it. Switch back to the one second backwards, and place it out of the frame. Pretty simple position animation. Let's make the click effect. Open scale, and add a keyframe on it. Now use the shift plus right arrow key four times, to go four frames forward. Here add the scale value to 4%. Again go to four frames forward, and change the scale value back to 5%. Make sure the spacing between these keyframes is equal. This is a simple click animation. We just need to match the timing, of each action. Select these keyframes, and place them right here. Cool. It is matching with the action. Now switch back to the connect composition. Here I am going to make the subscribed animation faster. So grab the second last keyframe, and place it toward the last keyframe. It will make the animation faster. Switch back to the main timeline, and now choose a position, for arranging these click keyframes. Cool. Now press U, to open keyframes. Select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them as well. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. I am also changing the curve of the click effect. Cool. Switch back to the timeline, and this is how it going to look now. Now the last step. Select the connect layer, and then go to the effects and the preset. Here search for the hue saturation. Apply it on the layer. And then go to the first hand keyframe position. Here add a keyframe on channel range. Then go to the second keyframe position, and change the master saturation value to zero. It will remove all the colors from the button. Ram preview this. And our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Download unlimited After Effects templates, royalty free sound effect, stock footage, and more. Visit Envato Elements. Check the link in the description.